Hi folks, uh, just another short video as I normally say, probably end up being an hour, but uh, meant to be another short video. I have finally, finally got my microphone adapter after three or four times of trying and ordering the wrong part every time, so I bought a pack of five microphone adapters with all the different ones in there. And now uh, the pack of five actually came with two that I needed, so uh, even better. So now hopefully the microphone will uh, will work good with the action camera and we won't get all of that background noise. I did try it out and it's it's a little bit not muffled but um, muted. It wasn't very loud so I can just take that out with editing though. So hopefully it won't pick up too much background noise and uh, we can start doing decent vlogs with it. All right, something I want to talk about today is manual versus automatic. Uh, there's hundreds of videos out there on YouTube. It's not as if I'm doing something new here. But this is coming from somebody that's English and moved to the United States uh, 13 years ago in 2013, September 2013. And I drove... Uh, I drove manual all my life. That was my wife just went by. I learned to drive in a manual. Um, in England, you take your test in a manual. If you take your test in an automatic, you only get a license for an automatic. I wonder if my wife would call me now. She probably will, and I'll have to start this video all over again. But yeah, you've got to take your test in a manual. You learn to drive in a manual. Um, everything's manual. And then I'd never driven an automatic before until I come to this country 13 years ago um, how old was I then 29 years old um, so I was 29 and never driven an automatic now what I kind of find amusing is the stigma that goes with manual drivers and automatic drivers over here it seems like if you have a sport car it's not a sport car unless it's manual um, I owned a uh, I owned a Subaru BRZ before the WRX and I had it turbocharged and it was automatic paddle shifters. Good thing was with it, uh, I didn't have to um, upgrade the gearbox at all. The, the transmission um, was fine as it was. Didn't have to, you know, no new clutch or anything like that to put up with the extra power. Oh, listen to that, heel towing. Not even thinking about it. I, um, where was I? But yeah, I had a BRZ automatic, and there's actually one one of the videos is up on my channel. There's a while ago, it's probably a couple of years ago, with a rear-facing camera, and one of the comments right underneath the video was uh, automatic transmission, laugh out loud, or LOL. And I remember seeing it, and I thought, does that really take away from what that car is? You know, it was 300 horsepower at the rear wheel. It just happened to be automatic. So it was, oh, that was that was laughable. I was like, come on, mate. It's like, I bet the little punk don't even drive manual himself. But I felt like putting under there, you know, I drove manual all my life, but it's like, no, just leave them. Just, just let them have their, um, they're having a little bit of fun. He probably doesn't own a BRZ, he never will own a BRZ, and just, just a troll, just anyway. You can see it never affected me at all. I, I still remember it. But, uh, but yeah, just little things like that I just find amusing. But anyway, I was automatic. Why did I go manual? Uh, do you know what? That's a really good question. And I don't really have many answers for it. Uh, I'm going to try and answer it. One, I am really enjoying driving manual after being away from it for 13 years. You are in... I'd say you're in total control. You're engaged in the driving. You're doing something all the time. You're not just sat back and it's not just boring. You know, you. There's something about it. There's something about having that clutch and, and doing something with gears. The paddle shifting was great. Um, the BRZ's paddle shifters were were amazing. But um, it still it still just wasn't manual.
but yeah, I just there. I just, I mean, it's second nature again now, just to change gear. But it's uh, when you get on it and you're in some nice curvy roads and yeah, just flipping the throttle and downshifting and and, and just that changing up, coming out of the corners and it, it's just all, I don't know, it's just all so much different. Although the uh, the BRZ did have um, did have auto blip on the uh, on the downshift, so you would even get the blip with that as well. As soon as you hit it, it would do it all for you, which was kind of cool. And if you really wanted to go fast in that with that uh, with the with the BRZ automatic, um, you didn't have to think about it. You just went fast and uh, just great engine braking and stuff like that. But but yeah, does it make you more of a man driving manual? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Maybe if you're American, it does. I don't, I don't know. But uh, they should have a look outside America and uh, and see all the other people that drive manuals on a daily basis. You know, the 17-year-old uh, teenage girl in England that just taken her driving test, driving manual, and they think that girls that drive manual are hot. Uh, if you like that, then go to England go to anywhere on the continent basically um, when I mean continent I mean Europe but uh, but yeah go to England if that turns you on um, every go over there drives manual so, uh, so so go go get them guys but uh, yeah over here it's like a big thing oh she drives manual that's so hot it's like no she should drive manual but it's, it's a different it's a different place it's a different country um, the cars over here, when I first got in them, to me they felt like um, they felt like being on a waterbed compared to a normal mattress. It was like uh, that's that's the best analogy I can give. They were sloppy, they were wallowing, they were but they were comfortable. You could take them on long journeys, and it's just oh man, it was just so nice and comfortable, no bumps. And then uh, now you hear about the sport tuned suspension and all this stuff. It's like that's a normal suspension on an English car. We have so many roads, curvy roads, small roads. Um, there's not many long straight roads that um, that you need decent suspension. It needs to be firmer. And and I was always used to it. It's like this WRX. This is still um, not real, real firm suspension compared to some of the cars I've driven in England. Just normal cars. And I notice that when I go back there as well. I go back to England about every three years. And uh, first thing I notice is the, the suspension in the cars are is, uh, is a little stiffer but uh, yeah I really don't know what it is about everybody thinking that you should drive uh, a sports car in manual yes I went and got one so you know that's kind of makes me a bit of a hypocrite right now but hell I grew up driving manual I just wanted to go back driving manual again except when I commute like tonight when I get in traffic then I wish I'd got the CVT because it's a pain in the ass damn feet ankles knees everything they just they, they hurt after a while but uh but apart from that it's just I love being back driving manual like I say just feel part of the car but that's the only reason it should be. It's not, there's nothing manly about it. Oh, look, I can, I can, you know, all you're doing is you're pushing down the clutch and you're taking this gear stick and taking it from one gear to another. That's it. I mean, okay, there's a lot more to it than, you know, hill toe downshifting and flipping the throttle downshifting. And there's also, you know, there's other things. But in its simplest form, that's all you're doing. You've got another pedal and you change the gear manually. It's like, jeez. It's like, that makes you more of a man? No, it doesn't. But uh, yeah, it is It is more engaging to drive one, but it isn't more manly. It's, it's kind of, I, I can't help but laugh at it. And when you look at some of the, some of the very, very fast cars, um, and I'm not speaking from experience, and some people might post underneath and say, oh, you're wrong there. But I believe, like, the GTR and the uh, Lamborghini Aventador and stuff like that are paddle shift automatics. 
um, whether they got torque converters, dual clutch or whatever it is, they are automatic. And I think they class as a sports car, you know, I'm pretty sure. That was me being very, my best sarcastic. Um, but yeah, that's, so not all sports cars need to come in manual, do they? I, uh, I don't know if that's really got my point across. <laughs> it is kind of hypocritical because I went out and bought one after owning, uh, after owning automatics for 13 years. I finally said, no, nope, this one's got to be, uh, this one's got to be manual. Oh, I've got the microphone lead hanging over me. But yeah, I finally, uh, finally got one and uh, I must admit I am really, really enjoying it. And I am enjoying it because it's manual. So, uh, yeah, it didn't make my dick any bigger. It's, uh, I'm still hung like an arctic hare. But, uh, <laughs> but it's, it may, it don't even make it feel bigger. Maybe if I got a blue pill or something and put it on top. A blue, sh a blue shift knob in uh, the shape of Viagra. Maybe that'll make me uh, maybe bigger and uh, harder. Whew. Let's try second. Come in there very slow. It's 25 mile an hour speed limit here, and I find it's like right between second and third. Third's okay. I like to be just somewhere like two and a half thousand RPM or above. Third's all right. Uh, so yeah, that's my take on auto versus manual. It doesn't really matter. If you commute with one every single day, get, get yourself the automatic. If you do an autocross maybe once a year and go to the mountains or the curvy roads maybe once a year, get yourself the automatic because you're not really using the manual anyway. Now, if you track day a few times a year, autocross a few times a year, go to your curvy roads a few times a year, um, get the manual, you're going to, it's so, it's so worth it. But yeah, if you commute in and you don't do all that sort of stuff, I. If I didn't do it, I wouldn't have got manual again. I would have stayed automatic. Um, still had the car, still had the, the speed, still had everything else. Everything in here except the third pedal and a gear stick. Uh, or a movable gear stick. I still have a gear stick, right? But, um, yeah, that, that really sums it up. Oh, and do you like my orange shirt? It's, uh left over from work zone awareness week I've, I work on uh, I work on the roads and uh, I've got a couple of these t-shirts and today I was out there on the road so I wore this and a vest and I've kept it on it's certainly bright just in case uh, someone posts below and wants to know why I'm looking like a deranged orange <clears throat> but yeah that just about does it now my wife my wife just got the uh, the Crosstrek, and obviously it's CVT, and do you know what? That's really refreshing to drive that, just to get in it and not, just not worry about it, just sit back and chill. And that one actually has got a little stiffer suspension than what I thought it would have, than what a lot of other SUVs have. And she, she's already said about, my wife doesn't drive fast or anything else, but she already said that she could feel the difference in the handling between this and the Hyundai Elantra she had before and then the Mazda 3 and the CX-5 and the CX-9 between all of those she said that this one just uh, goes round goes round corners easier so she's noticing it all right I, must, I don't know if that's the all wheel drive or just the way Subaru is I don't know but um, she's noticed it already anyway here we are back at the house so if you're listening to this and you drive automatic don't think you have to go out there and learn to drive manual to enjoy yourself because you don't and if you're one of the manual drivers and you enjoy it and you're not daily commuting um go ahead and get another manual uh, but don't don't think there are any lesser of the people that's got the automatic that's why these companies build the automatic 
Um, that's why the WRX has got a CVT because obviously there's a there's a market for it. But uh, they're st they're the same car, and I'm sure that once they pulled away from the lights and they're both doing 20 miles an hour next to each other, neither of them are faster after that. Um, I'm sure the CVT is more sluggish getting away from the lights and then after that it probably uh, in certain places is faster shifting so it's gonna it'll probably leave the manual behind that's kind of how the BRZ was um, but anyway let's not sit here explaining this all day and making it righteous but, uh, sounding righteous but yeah that's my thoughts on it um, anyone that drives automatic is not in my eyes not deemed any lesser of a man or a woman that drives manual is not hotter than the one that drives automatic so uh, anyway I'm sure there'll be some discussion below but uh, fuck it I have had it <laughs> um, I'll speak to you later folks bye